Today, we're gonna make and drink a somewhat secret recipe from the Mai Kai, a drink that was put on the menu when the Mai Kai opened in 1956. It's one of the original recipes from Mariano Liquidini, and we'll be making the Moon Kissed Coconut. The Mai Kai deserves its own full-length documentary, but I am not the one to do that. It is one of the very last icons of the mid-century tiki boom that has survived to this day, but maybe just barely. As of right now, the Mai Kai is closed, but it is said to have new financial partners and will reopen. The Mai Kai's drinks were created by Mariano Liquidini, known as the Houdini of Liquids. He started with Don the Beachcomber in Chicago, and the Mai Kai lured him away, where he would create his very own menu and open in 1956. At the beginning of Tiki, Filipino bartenders and mixologists were as important possibly even more important than anyone else involved. They were often behind the scenes, and that's quite literally behind the scenes, as the basic drinks like martinis were made out in the front bar, but those secret advanced recipes, just think about Don the Beachcomber drinks, those were made in the back by Filipino bartenders. Not only did they make the drinks, but quite possibly created many of the drinks that are now classics and are now credited to the bar owners. And I really do not even want to attempt to do a deeper dive into this subject right now, talking about people like Ray Buen or Liquidini. I don't know enough, but there are people that do, and I'll leave a link below to a pretty good video I watched a while ago from Tiki Oasis TV, and there are many blogs, books, and other videos out there about the Mai Kai and these bartenders that do a far better justice than I can do. Now, when I said this recipe was a secret, that's only partly true. It's not in any Jeff Berry books, but Berry does manage to get his hands on the recipe for a drink called the White Cloud, which he found when Mariano's son, Ron, let him peek at some of his dad's notes. We'll make the White Cloud here in just a minute. But it was that page of Sip and Safari that kind of pointed me in the right direction, trying to find out more about the Moon Kids Coconut. I landed on the atomicgrog.com, which has the original recipe as well as an updated version that they've created. They sourced this recipe from a website called swankpad.org, who in 2011 shared the recipe as printed in an issue of Esquire magazine from 1959. Now in 2011, it was way more difficult to source magazines, and nowadays it's far easier I was able to find the Esquire issue online, and it is the same exact recipe. These online archive resources are great, but many sources like magazines don't have searchable text, so you still need someone to kind of point you in the right direction to at least give you a year or a volume or preferably an issue. So to that, credit goes to Atomic Grog and Swankpad, and I will have links to those articles below as well. So we'll start with the inspiration for this, which is the White Cloud from Sip and Safari. You'll need palernum, cream of coconut, that's Coca Lopez or Real, fresh lime juice, Cointreau, and Puerto Rican rum. We're gonna shake this one in a small shaker tin and start with a quarter ounce of palernum, a half an ounce of cream of coconut, half an ounce of fresh lime juice, quarter ounce of Cointreau and one ounce of a Puerto Rican rum. Add a little less than half a cup of ice to your tin and shake this for five to 10 seconds. Then open pour into a small tasting glass. There you go. The white cloud from Sip and Safari as found in the notes of Mariano Liquidi. So my take from Sip and Safari was that this was just some notes that Jeff Berry was able to see from Liquidini. Uh, it's, you know, not a complete cocktail, but just a, a small little cocktail. So I don't think it's ever been on a menu anywhere. And it's kind of just this um, interesting drink. There's a picture of it in Sip and Safari. And uh, let's let's taste it. It has that familiar taste. I, I mean, almost everything that I have with coconut, I think of a pina colada, but there's no pineapple juice here. You're getting your sweetness from the cream of coconut, as well as from the falernum. And the falernum does come through. You can get some of those um, spice notes from the falernum, 
Uh, the Quantro, maybe not as much here, but it does have a nice uh, bit of acidity from the lime juice. Now, this drink is, it's not bad at all. It's a little dessert drink, but I think it's really for someone who is super into tiki and the Mai Kai and wants to experience something that uh, one of the like all time tiki bartenders and mixologists made and had in his notebooks. Now, Jeff Berry got that recipe, but for whatever reason, the Moon Kiss Coconut didn't come across his radar to put into Sip and Safari. So now let's make the Moon Kiss Coconut as first revealed in the 1959 issue of Esquire magazine. For this one, you'll need Angostura bitters, lime juice, honey syrup, Falernum syrup, coconut milk, a West Indies rum, a light Puerto Rican rum, and a Barbados rum. We'll build this in a drink mixer tin with two dashes of Angostura bitters, half an ounce of lime juice. The original recipe calls for a quarter ounce of honey, but instead I'm using half an ounce of a one-to-one -one honey syrup. Quarter ounce of Falernum syrup, half an ounce of coconut milk, three quarter ounces of a West Indies rum, one and a half ounces of a light Puerto Rican rum, and three quarters of a Barbados rum. I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of nugget or crushed ice and flash blend this for five to seven seconds. Open pour this into a coconut or any glass you'd like. And garnish with some fresh mint. And there you go, the moon kissed coconut from the Mai Kai. First up, before I taste this drink, I just wanna say, I'm not here to fix this drink. If there is something that uh, I don't personally like about it, or if there's something that is seen in that recipe, uh, this was a drink that was put on the menu in 1956 and in the magazine three years later. So I wanna taste the Moongus Coconut, uh, at least as was shared with Esquire Magazine in the 1950s. So let's taste it. That's, um, it's not as, it's not as like complex because of the rums we use. Our main rum in there is a light Puerto Rican rum. And I use, um, what's that called? Havana, Havana Club. And it's not, it's not bad. Like I, I like the drink. I think that it's lacking a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of acidity, but we have to remember that palates and taste preferences change over time. In 1956, you know, they're, maybe approaching this a little differently. Also, while Esquire Magazine shares this recipe, we don't really know if that is 100% the correct recipe from the Mai Kai, if they gave them that recipe or if they maybe modified it. In the Esquire Magazine, it also says that you can use, I think, coconut powder. So we don't know for certain if they were using a sweetened coconut product there because I think using uh, a Coco Lopez or cream of coconut here helped this drink just a little more acidity. And then for my preferences, just a rum that packs a little more flavor. But overall, I think the drink is pretty good. And it is a very iconic drink that it's been on the menu at the Mai Kai since 1956. Tasting them side by side. I like the White Cloud a little bit better. Just a little more sweetness. But if this was sort of elevated or increased to a full-blown cocktail. I think it is too sweet. So maybe somewhere in the middle of these two, and I think you have yourself a really tasty and interesting cocktail. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel. If you've been to the Mica and you've had the Moon Kissed Coconut, let me know in the comments below, or if you end up trying out this drink at home, let me know what you think about it. It's good. It's not the best coconut drink you're ever going to have. But if you're really into tiki history and you kind of want to 
experience what it would have been like to be at the Mai Kai when it opened, then this is a drink right here, Moon Kiss Coconut. All right, you can check out some other videos right here. Otherwise, see you in the next one.